Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimmingbird, and welcome back to Minecraft. We are in Minecraft 1.7, as you might have guessed from the crazy amplified biome that I stand right at the edge on. And uh, we're going to be trying out a new series here. It's going to be called Survival Story, and uh, I'll get into the story part in a second. We are at almost max block height. As you can see, I, this majestic flag is billowing in the wind. Uh, it couldn't go up very high because only a couple blocks. That's that's the top max height there, 255. But we are on the top of a crazy extreme hills. This ain't your pappy's extreme hills biome. This is insane, and it is at the top. And this is a crazy birch forest near here. But basically, I want to try to do a survival series using the new amplified 1.7 biomes, and it's going to be pretty tough here. So I've got a few things over uh, over yonder that I'll show you that'll help me kind of get down and get back up. So first off, we're gonna summon a little buddy here. This is uh, Crankles, the Undying. He's my skeletal horse. And now in 1.7, we, because we can summon in horses of different types, we can get the zombie and skeleton horse without having to use any editing things. And uh, there's a little button here just to give me a quick one-use saddle that I'll put on Crankles. And then when we're ready to jump off the cliff here, I'm gonna hit the Geronimo button. If I can, and here we go, we got a few seconds of resistance, and we're falling, uh, and then Crankles is dead. He will be, he will return, he's the undying, and I just leave that stuff down there. I don't want to take the saddle or anything, that would be too cheap. And uh, over here, if we want to get back up, here's another button. I hit this, and I can run over here, and whoa, there we go. <laughs> and it'll give me a few seconds of jump boost and some resistance to make sure I don't die jump boosting and I can get back up here on the cliff where I'm going to build my house uh, I don't want to go up on the snowy cliff because I'll have no room but over here I should have a good like 20 25 blocks that I can build at but like I mentioned this is going to be a survival series I don't really need crankles to get down but I thought it would be kind of fun we're just gonna use the Geronimo button for now uh, so yeah this is a new survival series and like I said it's called survival story or uh, maybe survival story time might be more appropriate uh, so the idea behind this, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this, uh, I like to just kind of ramble and make up stories sometimes. I'll do this for Danielle, and uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to do a series where instead of, uh, because it's Mi Minecraft survival, uh, I figured I'd have a hard time always having something to talk about. Uh, so I'm going to do something a little special here. So I'm just going to start making up a story, and we'll, <laughs> we'll see where it goes. And however long it goes, look at this swamp biome. This is really cool. I love the, the new grass shading. Both types of it look really cool here. Let's grab some of these little little blue things. Oh, I forgot I'm still in creative mode. Let's go back into survival. There we go. I didn't want to destroy that block. but So from now on, we're going to be in survival mode here. Let me grab a couple of these flowers to decorate my base. A blue orchid. And uh, we'll start. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Let's do it. So this is the story of Lester. And uh, the legend of Lester. Lester is a goblin, and he's a poor goblin. And I don't just say that because he's he doesn't have much money. Uh, it's because if you're born into being a goblin, you kind of have a hard life, and uh, you're in a sorry sorry state. So Lester lives in this goblin village, and uh, they all make fun of him because he doesn't have any pants. And uh, goblins without like goblins don't have much in life. Usually like a dirt hovel, but to not have pants, that's just like man insult to injury so Lester is like the village idiot or at least the person that's made fun of the most in the village so he decides I'm not gonna take it anymore I need to go get some pants I can't you know I can't live in this village with these people making fun of me because I don't have any pants so Lester decides to head out and he heard there's a witch like living near the village she might be able to help him she might know how to get the pants it's already becoming night oh crap uh, said Lester <laughs> as he headed out. He was a little worried because monsters show up, show up at night and he only had his uh, his sticks and a chicken on him. So he uh, he's going to have to travel to the witch and it, it took him about a week to travel to the witch, which is crazy. Uh, that's pretty far from the goblin village. So he ended up eating the chicken pretty quickly. Uh, he didn't have much food. Eventually he made like a crown out of the chicken's... Uh, feathers but he had to eat those feathers as well because he didn't have enough food to keep going but he did make it to the witch and he went up and her house was her house was like on stilts in a swamp which is really weird uh so he had a, he had a hard time getting up there for some reason she built her house like that who knows why um so yeah lester was like i guess i gotta you know maybe this witch will help me uh if i 
if I'm nice to her. So he climbed up into her house and knocked on the non-existent door. There was no door there. It was just a hole in the wall because the witch, you know, the witch wasn't that well off either. So he knocked on the uh, the hole there and uh, she said, hey, what are you doing in my house? Why do you keep making sticks? I didn't mean to do that, um, said Lester. He, he kept making sticks outside of her door and she's like, get out of here. But Lester said, hey, I, I need some pants. I'm getting made fun of in my village and I don't have any pants. So I heard that you might be able to help me. And the witch said, you know what? I got enough troubles in my life. I'm a witch. People don't really like me already. I'm not going to go helping any goblin get pants. So Lester was like, hey, you know, I've had a hard life. Why are you being mean to me? I just came here, you know, to ask you. Maybe you know some magic that can get me some pants. And the witch said, what do I look like? A pants mancer? Which, in this, in the world of goblins, a pants mancer is kind of like a rare form of magician that specializes in pants magic. It's kind of like a pyromancer, but they make pants and uh or a shoe mancer they're, they're pretty similar but they specialize in shoes obviously so she basically told him you know buzz off goblin get out of here go go find a pants mancer if you want pants so he he said all right i guess i guess this witch isn't gonna help me so he burned her house down which you know in retrospect isn't very nice of him but he decided that's what he's gonna do so he uh he got an achievement for killing the witch a monster hunter so that was pretty awesome um he needs a pick, though, if he's going to go, you know, venture out into the world. So, anyways, Lester decided, you know what? I'm through dealing with the sorry folk. I'm through dealing with goblins and witches. I'm going to the top. I'm going to go to the king's kingdom, the kingdom of Kingland, and uh, go talk to the king and see if he can help me here. And uh, he had to be careful because he kept dashing around. He kept sprinting, and that's going to wear out. You know, he doesn't have much food. He's been eating feathers, so he's kind of weak anyways. So he decided... I'm going to head to the Kingland, and it took him a while to get there. He had to uh, scrape by on whatever mushrooms or anything that he could find on the way, but he did eventually make it to the gates, and there was a knight there, and the knight was not very happy because it was night, and that was, you know, he, everyone who came up there made jokes about how it's night, and, and you're night, uh, and he got so sick of that because people were constantly telling him that, and he's like, look, guys, it's just my job to stand here and guard the gates, so stop giving me a hard time about it. So, um, Lester was, he's like, I know this going in, that people probably tell him that, so I'm just gonna be nice to him. And, and he said, hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> do you, uh, do you know if I can get in the kingdom and talk to the king? Because, as you can see, I don't have any pants on, and people tend not to like that about me. Oh my gosh. Lester, Lester is in a bad way here. <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> so Lester, Lester, uh, Lester kept his inventory, which is nice. Um, but yeah, he, he got beat down pretty hard by the knight. <laughs> and, uh, the knight was not nice to him. He had, the knight had taken a lot of crap on that shift, so he, uh, he, he decided that, you know, this goblin coming up acting like he can go see the king, I don't like it. You know, the, that's the knight talking. So he decided to just punch Lester right in the loins. And uh, that is probably the weakest part on a goblin's body. If you know goblins, you know that. So Lester's just like, geez, ouch. He's like lying there, doubled over in pain. Um, man, if only I had some armor, I could uh, I could take this knight down. So Lester was like, after, after a couple days of just lying there moaning, the knight got sick of him and he kind of like pushed him off into the... Uh, into the ditch there in the moat and Lester just kind of rolled in like he didn't know what to do he just he went with it um so he rolled in and he uh he laid there until he got some more energy and man it's a full moon so there are a lot of slimes and they like to drown in the water of the moat so that's the moat is like really slimy if you didn't know that about castle moats like just from the water they get really slimy but also the fact that slimes just fall in there and they can't swim is, you know, that's bad. Anyways, enough about the moat. Lester got out of there. He's covered in slime. People think he's a slime goblin now. And that's like a different variety. It's like a lower variety of goblin. So people just, they're not going to even, they're going to treat him even worse than they already did. So Lester's like, geez, I got to clean the slime off. I'm, and then he did it. So we're not going to waste time talking about that part. That was, you know, that's just busy work. So he cleans the slime off and he's like, I'm going to go mine 
in a ravine if I can find one. I heard there's one near here because the kingdom, you know, if there's anything about this kingdom, it's it's got lots of ravines. So Lester's like, I'm going to go mine in the mines and get some iron and make myself some armor because then I can take on the, the gate knight and, you know, get rid of him. And because uh, he was a jerk to me, like normally I would have just been like, hey, let me through. But because he decided to punch me in my goblin loins, I got to take him down. So Lester went off and uh, he was about to go into a ravine, but then he stumbled upon a golden knight. And now golden knights are kind of, they're a little, you know, why flaunt it? Like if you, you got armor, you don't need to like let everyone know. Use it for what it's worth. You don't have to go on putting on golden boots and like flaunting it. Like armor is like something you would use for necessity. Like it keeps you alive. But why do you have to make it all like decadent and stuff and put on golden boots and flaunt them around? Nobody cares if you got golden boots. So he uh, he was like, all right, I'm taking this golden knight down. So he grabbed his sticks. And Lester's like a pro stick thrower. That was like the one redeeming factor he had in the village. He could throw sticks like anybody's uncle. And he threw them right at the Gold Knight's eyes. And the Gold Knight's like, ouch, jeez, I should have protected my eyes. The Gold Knight was, in, he was more concerned about his armor being like showy than he was about it actually functioning well. So that was his downfall. And the Gold Knight died instantly of stick, stick poisoning. So he was dead. And Lester's like, sweet, I got this golden armor. I'm not covered in slime anymore. I think people are gonna, you know, let me in. So he put on the golden armor. And this was where Lester kind of made a mistake. He, the, the gate knight was like, oh wow, the gold knight's back. That was quick. I thought he just went out to, you know, gather sticks. But he came back really quick. And look, he's got all these sticks. Whoa! And uh, the babies were, you know, jumping. They were like, hey, I love the gold knight. I want to give him a hug. Um, but the gate knight was like, hey, go back in the kingdom. We don't want babies out here by the gate. It's dangerous. It could shut on the babies and kill them pretty instantly. But it's medieval times, so... If a baby died from a gate crushing it, no one really cared. They just made another one. But anyways, um, so he's like, Gold Knight, what are you doing back? You got all your sticks. I'm surprised you got back so fast. And Lester, as the Gold Knight, was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the Gold Knight. I got my sticks, and uh, I'm kind of hanging out here. Let me in. And he did it in, like, a sassy way. Like, he didn't just, he didn't just like, say, yes, I'm the Gold Knight. I, you should let me in, you know. He was more, he was like belligerent about it. So the gate knight was like, Gold Knight, I thought we were bros. We grew up together. We were in the military together. I'm, I'm surprised that you're being such a jerk about this. So he knew right away. He was like, I bet this is that goblin. And I bet he murdered my friend. So he was, he was pretty mad about that. So if Lester had just been able to come inside, you know, and, and put away his prejudices against the gate knight, he would have been fine. But because he had to get all sassy, you know, that's what happens. And uh, the Gate Knight and him had an epic battle. They they battled day and night for like five weeks. It was crazy. People come and went, came and went. Like every once in a while, the Gate Gate Knight would be like, "Time out, timesies. I need to let people in because that's kind of my job." And Lester's like, "I get that. I have a job too. It's uh, I dig mud for the Goblin Village, and uh, there's a lot of mud diggers." And he wasn't really missed when when he left, but. So yeah, he they understood on like a, you know a respect level at least uh, on like a working respect level that they should let each other do that. Oh no, that wasn't good. Um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, yeah, this it wasn't good for Lester. Basically, is what he was like. Oh no, this isn't good. I I have to fight this guy forever. But yeah, they they had a big fight. Lester's gold armor broke. The Gate Knight's gate armor broke. It, it was not a pretty picture. So, but eventually, uh, the Gate Knight just kind of died from boredom because it took so long to fight. It was like five weeks, and Lester was like, "All right, this is cool. I I know I'm a mud digger. I know how to like, you know, I'm not happy with my job, but I don't get bored with it because I'm, you know, that's how I how I live." Uh oh. Um. So yeah, the Gate Knight died. Sadly, yeah, I don't know. He was a cool character, but he's dead. So <laughs> Lester decided, all right, I'm going in. And he took the Gate Knight's armor, which was like broken. But Lester's like, maybe I can fix it later. He took his broken gold armor. He took the Gate Knight's armor. That's like a lot of armor. He's carrying it all around. It's clattering everywhere. Everybody's looking at him. And Lester's like, I don't care. I'm a goblin. That's just how I was born. I'm starting to get used to it and accept it. I just wish I had pants. 
And all this time, Lester has no pants. It's like, the children, you know, they're right at eye level with the, you know, Goblin Dingle going on. So he's just frightening all the babies. And uh, that's just not something that parents want their babies to see. Like, they want to wait till they're teens before they start teaching them that goblins have dingles and dongles and stuff. So anyways, Lester's going through. He's causing a big commotion. He heads up to the, you know, the, the main gate inside the castle. He goes through the castle, like, village area, you know, the marketplace. And he heads to where the king's, like, keep is. And there's another gate knight there. And this is, like, the older brother of the other gate knight. Because gate knights, they're hired on seniority, you know. It's kind of like the king would be, you know. The, the oldest is going to get, you know, the throne. And in the gate night world, the older you are, usually the better at the job you are, the more you have patience for people coming in and out. So this is gate night's older brother, uh, great knight, because he's a great knight. And the gate, it just happened to be that the gate to the keep was also like, it had a grate to it. It was harder. You couldn't squeeze through the bars like the normal gate. It was grated. So it was like a, you know, like a sewer cover or something where they don't want babies falling in. That was that was the big like thing that they kept telling the king babies are getting out the castle gate because the the normal gate knight kept complaining. He was like, "There's so many babies just slipping through the bars. If I had a grate, then I could stop this." And the king was like, "Man, that's not even my concern. I'm the king. I don't need to mess around with that." So, anyways, grates are better in terms of you know gate protection. Just so you guys know, but Lester gets there to the to the great knight. And he's like, hey, man, uh, can I come in? I, and uh, I, I kind of have your brother's armor. Would you like it? Somebody beat him up and, and broke it, but I was like, I got to go give his last effects to the uh, to his brother. So he, he grabbed all that stuff. And uh, that was that was a good that was a good call on Lester's part, because the, the Great Knight, even though he's older, he's not all that smart. He's kind of a little too old, like he's losing it a little bit. So Lester is like, sweet, I got this guy by the dongle. And uh, if it wasn't for Lester not having pants, he would have got through. But even the Great Knight was able to see that, like, this goblin doesn't have pants. I can't let him see the king. That's just, like, gross. You know, the king doesn't need to see that. He's the king. Like, he deserves a little bit of, you know, respect and stuff. So I'm not going to bother with that. Whoa. Uh, said Lester as he loaded in terrain. I hadn't seen this area before and it's making me slow down a little bit uh, But anyways, so the great knights like all right Thanks for you know considering me and my brother in these hard times But I can't let you in to see the king because you have no pants on and Lester's like all right. All right um, I'm kind of here about that because the king, you know, he's the king he can get me pants, right? And the Great Knight was like, oh, I'll see what I can do. Even though he wasn't really going to see what he could do. He just said that. Uh, that's kind of one of the things he does. He's just like, oh, yeah, I'll help you. But he doesn't. So Lester kind of could sense that in his eyes. Like his tone, he was like, yeah, I'll help you. Or whatever. But, you know, he knew he wasn't going to help him. So Lester was like, all right, this guy is not helping me. I got to move on. I'll try to find, you know... I'll get some, maybe I'll find something that's like a pant substitute, and then I'll come back, and the Great Knight will have to let me in. So, uh, he went to the village and was like, you guys got anything to put on my dongle to cover it? And they were like, here, take this sock. And Lester said, alright, that sounds cool. So he took the sock, and he paid in sticks, because uh, goblin sticks are actually like pretty sought after. They, of all the sticks... They, they stay together pretty good, so it's not a big deal, you know, if as far as sticks go, they're, they're good quality, so if you're going to get sticks, just go with goblin ones uh, for the future. But yeah, so Lester goes through, and he, uh, he gets his sock, and he just covers it, and he goes back to the Great Knight, and he's like, hey, buddy, you know, I'm, I'm covered up, can I see the king? And the Great Knight's like, ah, oh, jeez, I shouldn't have told him that that was the only thing. But I guess I do owe him, because he helped me. He brought my brother's armor and all that. So he said, all right, go through. I don't know how you're going to you know, do, but go ahead. So Lester went through. And because almost no one gets through to see the king, he, he got to go see him right away. It was pretty easy, surprisingly. Like, you'd think it would be harder, but you know, Lester was like, i got to hurry this up. So he decided that uh, he's going to go straight to see the king. And they were like, okay, I guess. He got through this far. Might as well let you. So they go see the king. 
And the King of the Kingdom, there's one thing you gotta know about him. He loves Hot Pockets, and uh, they hadn't been invented yet. So he's just like, man, I got a hankering for something that I don't really know what it is. And uh, he decided that he was gonna search the, the world. He was like, if someone can find me this thing, it's like crispy, it's like tender, it's, it's like flaky. It's got a crispy, tender, flaky something crust. He was like, I don't know, I haven't seen the commercial because it hasn't been made yet. What are commercials? Um, so if somebody can find me this, I'll give them the key to the kingdom. And Lester's like, man, screw pants. I could get the key to the kingdom. I kind of, like, I'm used to not having... It's like if you don't wear socks a lot, you get used to not having socks on. So when you do wear them, you feel kind of constricted. It's like Lester has been used to not having anything. And now he's got this sock. And even the sock is feeling a bit constrictive. So he's like, all right, I'm going for the... That's my new goal. Key to the kingdom. So he decides maybe I could invent a Hot Pocket. So Lester decides, like, okay, I got some pork on me. I think no I ate all that I'm gonna have to go get some more pork but I think I can invent this and uh, some say Le Lester did invent oh he does some have yeah he was cooking the pork he he's so the goblins are so stupid like he didn't even remember that he had pork on him so he cooked it and he was like I'll put it in some bread I just have to plant some wheat and uh, I'll make some bread put a little bread you know a little pocket and the, the pork is hot so I'll call it like a hot pocket and uh, the king will probably like that so he decided that was that, and uh, he made it, and the rest is history. So thank you guys for watching Survival Story Time. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, next time, if you want to see more, we'll continue, and uh, we'll have a fresh story. So leave a comment and tell me what. Just give me like a story seed. Just like tell me how it should start, and I'll go from there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time for more Minecraft 1.7. Goodbye.